save time by bulk merging photos in Lightroom Classic. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in this Post Protection Tips video, I'm gonna to continue to share with you some techniques I use to edit some real estate photos I took for a friend of mine. Now let me show you how I bulk merged these photos in Lightroom Classic to save me a lot of time. Let me show you how it works. All right, so here I am in the develop module in Lightroom Classic. Now you can see, as I demonstrated in my previous video, I've bracketed my exposure to help increase the dynamic range of my images, but I need to merge them. So one of the difficult things when you're doing a job like real estate photography is you can end up with loads of images, especially if you use a bracketing technique, you'll triple the amount of images you normally would have. And you normally have a lot anyways. So let me show you how I manage these images. So one thing I can actually do is I can actually organize these images into something called stacks. If I select the three bracketed exposures for this one image, I right click and select stacking, group into stack. So now instead of looking at three images, I'm looking at one image and then my next frame. So I can do the same with this image here. Select all three exposures, select stacking and group into stack. Now, this is a great technique, but it can take a lot of time if you've got hundreds of images. So let me show you how you can bulk stack. So if I select this first image and scroll all the way down to the last image from the set, hold down shift and select it, and then right click and hover over stacking and go to the very bottom of the stacking menu items. Auto stack by capture time. Now this new dialog box appears. Now what I can select is the amount of time in between each set of frames. So if I took 10 seconds in between each set of frames, Lightroom Classic will automatically stack images taken within 10 seconds of one another. I can go all the way down to zero seconds, which would create zero stacks or I can go all the way up to one hour. You can see I took all these images within an hour, so that would create one stack here in the bottom left corner. I'm gonna go back down to 10 seconds, nine, 10 seconds, that's fine. This is gonna create 14 stacks, so I'm gonna select stack. So now you can see all of the images I had selected, I'm now auto stack based off of the time they were captured. I love that technique. It can save me loads of time when trying to create stacks and trying to rifle through all of my images. Now let me show you how you can bulk merge these images to save you even more time. So now if I select all of my images, so hold down shift, click, and then click on the first one and the second image. If I right click and select photo merge HDR, 14 photo merge operations added to tasks. Lightroom Classic now will automatically photo merge all of my stacks. So all three images in each stack will now be auto merged into an HDR image. Let's let Lightroom work through that process. All right, now that that's finished, you can see after each stack of images, there is a new HDR image that it was just created. Let's take a look. All right, hopefully this technique will help you save loads of time. Stacking based off of capture time and then merging those stacked images into HDR saved me loads when editing this number of images for these real estate photos for a friend of mine. If you have any questions about this technique or this process, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.